Welcome to another edition of Get Victory. I'm Ed Crenshaw, pastor of Victory Church, Philadelphia, and we're honored that you have joined us for this moment of encouragement. It's so good to see you all today. I know that recently uh, we have had a change in our daily life rhythms. And for some of us, it's been a change in daily life rhythms, but for others, it's been a really serious hardship. In particular, in my family over the past few weeks, we've had a couple scares in which I have really become aware of how serious this is. However, during this time, I've heard the Lord speaking to me louder and clearer than I have in a really long time. And so I wanted to share a little bit today about what the Lord has been speaking to me. The one really big word that he seems to be yelling at me is opportunity. See, growing up, I always heard that the church was the people and not the building. But now more than ever, we can see that the church really is a group of people on mission for the gospel that are not necessarily uniting in a building, but rather in this really unique opportunity that the Lord has allowed us to have. The Lord has allowed us to experience powerful worship services via live stream in our homes, with our families, with our kids, with people in our homes that might not yet follow Jesus. We are experiencing God in a totally new way. And see, the Lord gave me a vision, and the vision was that His Holy Spirit was coming upon home after home in our church as we're worshiping God, as we're live streaming worship services. The Spirit is falling and His presence is filling up our homes in a very powerful way. And the Lord said that this is particularly exciting because it is going to make us more aware of the power of His daily presence in our lives. You see, the Lord keeps pointing me to Deuteronomy 6. And in Deuteronomy 6, it says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts, impress them on your children, talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads. Write them on the door frames of your homes and on your gates. That's the way we live a life following Jesus that influences those around us. We go about our days in our homes and as we're going along the side of the road and we talk about and we share what the Lord is speaking to us. The Lord actually gave me a second vision paired with the vision of the Holy Spirit falling on each person's home and filling uh, the homes up with his powerful presence. The Lord spoke to me that those on the periphery that are in the homes, those on the periphery of the kingdom of God, that because of the powerful peace of God and the presence of him daily in our households, those people on the periphery of the kingdom of God will be saved. I want to invite you to look for opportunities during this time period. Maybe it's a Zoom call with your life group. Maybe it's FaceTiming with extended family that you usually don't have time to connect with. Maybe it's going to getvictory.net slash kids, pulling up the kids church videos and doing kids church with your family. Maybe it's calling up or sending messages, inviting your friends to join you to watch live stream on Sunday mornings or Monday night. Maybe it's fill, fulfilling a practical need from somebody around you who needs a little extra help. You can also look for opportunities to fulfill needs at getvictory.net slash big serve. But I believe that if we take the opportunities God is putting in front of us, 
when we meet together, because we are going to meet together, because of a new outlook on the Lord's daily presence and a new experience with Him, our meetings together are going to be so rich. So will you chase opportunities to build the kingdom and be the church with me during this season? I trust this word has been a source of strength and comfort to you. During this trying time, our church is bringing you these words every day, Tuesday through Saturday. Also, you can join us online for our live stream services on Sundays at 9.15 and 11.15 a.m. You can find the links to all the online resources to stay connected as God's family at getvictory.net. Until next time, let's stay in God's presence and peace.